Hi, everyone, and welcome to the NFL's annual meeting in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with Howie Roseman, and we are talking about the meetings and what the Eagles have done in the offseason so far. Howie, what happens at these meetings? Take us behind the scenes. Well, first, it's a great opportunity to be with a lot of people around the league, uh, talk about a lot of the top topics in the league, um, both from like a league perspective and a team perspective. It's great to be with people like you and Ray and E and Brandon and Team Bonds because um, we get to do that here uh, in a beautiful setting. But the most important thing is it's kind of a, a bridge to the next part of the offseason, which is changing from free agency to the draft. And so we'll spend the next month uh, getting prepared for the draft, still look at opportunities to improve our football team, but it really comes to an end of the free agency period here. Let's break it down into some buckets because I know it's been a very busy offseason. First, the idea of retaining so many of the current players, Ronald Darby, Brandon Graham, Jason Peters, et cetera, Rodney McLeod. What does that mean for the team? Well, that's the, what we want to be known for. We want to develop our own players, re-sign our own players, uh, guys who know what it takes and what it means to be a Philadelphia Eagle. That's really important to us. And when you talk about Brandon Graham, Jason Peters, Rodney McLeod, um, you know, ensuring that Nigel Bradham continue to be here, uh, having guys like that, Darby, getting Darby back, you know, it's really important for us to keep our own players and at the same time add to the talent base. So we're not taking two steps back. All right, bucket number two, adding impact. And the Jacksons come in, Malik on the defensive line, Deshaun at wide receiver. How do you see those two players helping this roster? Yeah, you said it right, Dave. I mean, those guys have a chance to be impact players for the Philadelphia Eagles. And when you're looking for guys in free agency, you're looking for specific roles. And Malik does a tremendous job getting pressure on the quarterback, rushing inside, sitting next to Fletch. You know, now you, you continue to have two guys inside who really make a difference in your pass rush. And, um, you know, when you get edge pressure and quarterbacks step up in the pocket and you're able to collapse that pocket from the inside, uh, it's, it's tremendous for your defense. And then Deshaun, and you talk about Deshaun, and we all know Deshaun, but I think what our fans are going to see is a different Deshaun Jackson, a mature Deshaun Jackson who is totally committed to team and winning um, and having a legacy in Philadelphia, and that's really exciting for us. And you think about our skill position players and our wide receivers and our tight end group, and you know we all know what Alshon can do and the difference he makes. We all know the difference Nelly makes in the slot. Um, Zach Ertz, obviously one of, one of the great players in Eagles history, and Dallas Goddard, we saw him as a rookie, and he hasn't even had an off-season program to take the jump from year one to year two, and now you have Deshaun on the outside. And when you talk to our defensive coaches, when you talk to our defensive players, and we're playing the teams that had Deshaun Jackson on them, they're making sure they know where he is on every play. Right, bucket three, Howie, depth is so important. Andrew Zendejo, LJ Ford, Vinnie Curry comes back, keeping Paul Worlow really getting some depth on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, all those guys, tremendous character guys, tremendous work ethic, and all of those guys have overcome obstacles to become the player that they, they are. And uh, great team players fill a role. You talk about Andrew Sandejo, you know, a guy we're really excited about getting, a guy who started and played at a high level so he can play as our third safety. Um, certainly can come in and start if we have the need, but also fill the role of a guy like you know Chris Maragos, who we lost, of a veteran guy who's played on special teams, can provide that sort of leadership and that difference-making ability. Same with LJ Ford. You know he's been a tremendous special teams player, but also continued to develop and as a defensive player. And we're really excited. Our scouting department is really excited to get a guy like him. And then bringing Vinny back. You know, Vinny, Vinny was hampered a little bit by high ankle sprain this year. But you see, you know what Vinny brings to the table, his ability to be disruptive in this scheme, in the run game, in the passing game. And i um, really excited to bring him back as well. Howie, my fourth bucket is moves like extending Isaac Sayamalo. Mm -hmm. Nobody's talked about that. It's about getting more draft picks, compensatory picks as well. Explain all of that and what that means to you, why that was part of the process. Well, I think, you know, in a lot of ways we're boring. You know, we're kind of predictable. It's going to be about the O-line. It's going to be about the D-line. And then it's going to be about getting pressure on the quarterback, protecting the quarterback. And then we build out from there. And, uh, you know, we sign our own players. Isaac, a third-round pick by us, um, a guy that we can – think hasn't even come close to reaching his ceiling. Um, incredible versatility in the interior of the offensive line. And we haven't even talked about extending Jason Kelsey and ensuring that Jason Kelsey uh, hopefully finished his career as a Philadelphia Eagle, one of the great Philadelphia Eagles of all time. And I, I understand what I'm saying there, but that's, that's what we believe about Jason Kelsey. At the same time, when we make these moves, we also have to contemplate the future, uh, you know, what we're going to be looking like in the future. We're hopeful that um, we'll be able to get an extension at some point in time um, with our quarterback, who we think is a franchise quarterback and someone we're incredibly proud to be our quarterback. And so 
Um, how are we going to do that? How are all the pieces of the puzzle going to fit? And part of that is getting more draft picks. Uh, you know, over the last few years, we haven't had as many draft picks, um, especially in the first three rounds. Some of it's from the quarterback trade. Some of it's from the player acquisition part uh, of the process. Wouldn't trade it for anything because obviously, you know, we were fortunate enough to be quite successful over the last couple of years. But going forward, you can get a player that you really like and still get a compensatory pick. So it, it's a win-win for us, and I'm um, really excited to kind of replenish the draft uh, the draft picks and get some more young players into Philadelphia. Could you explain the compensatory picture as it looks right now? You get one for Jordan Hicks. Uh, you get one for Golden Tate. You get one for Nick Foles, correct? Yeah, I think that at the end we still have free agents outstanding. Mm-hmm. Um, and the period hasn't, hasn't gone, but, you know, it's our goal to have at least three compensatory picks. Um, we picked up uh, an extra pick for uh, the Sean Jackson trade. Um, I think right now we feel like we should have at a minimum 10, hopefully 11 picks in the 2020 draft before we even get to the 2019 draft. Um, that's exciting. That's exciting for our scouting department. You know, um, as it looks right now, we should have uh, one, two, three, four, we should five, six, seven picks in the first three rounds in the next two drafts. Um, is there a lot of faith in my ability to keep those picks as draft picks and not <laughs> trade them? The answer, unfortunately, would be no. But um, the good news is we're always going to be trying to improve our football team. And, uh, you know, we know we, we want to continue to add uh, young Eagles because a lot of our great pe- players are Eagle draft picks. And um, we know that, that that's the best way to replenish our talent level. Howie, just a couple more. How close to the blueprint that you laid out, that you spent all that time laying out, have you come to date? Well, you know what? Um, there have been some opportunities, uh, you know, obviously Darby and getting a 25 year old cornerback. That was something that we were concerned about being able to do and him being able to come here and take a chance on himself and bet on himself and, and bet on our program um, to continue to try to improve his stock going forward. I think that's a great testament to our football team and our coaching staff and our players. Um, so there were some things that, that came kind of out of the blue, but there were also things that we knew we wanted to do. We knew we wanted to keep our offensive line together and continue to build on the offensive line and develop some of our young players while we do that, like Malata and Pryor. We knew we wanted to continue to have a really good defensive line. Um, and even though we traded Michael, who was incredibly productive for us, getting Malik Jackson and, and signing Brandon Graham early in free agency and getting Vinny Curry, and obviously we still have the draft to go. So I think that was stuff that we knew we had to have in the blueprint, but also adding guys like you mentioned, like Deshaun and Andrew Sandejo and LJ Fort. Um, I, I think those are things that just kind of added some icing on the cake, but we got a lot of work to do. You know, we're six months before the first regular season game. Um, we have the draft coming up. The talent acquisition period really does not stop till the trade deadline. And you know us, Dave, we will look at everything and every way to improve our football team. Howie, what is this next month like for you and for your staff? How, how crazy is it? Yeah, you know, it's fun because every day you're getting reports from pro days and private workouts from our staff. You know, our staff does a tremendous job about going on the road and really getting their hands on players and um, trying to figure out what makes them tick and bringing people into our building, having these top 30 visits. And we're a month till the draft, and uh, we have three picks in the first two rounds. We haven't had that in a long time, and uh, it's really important for us to get them right, and we'll do whatever we possibly can in the next month to make sure that that's a good process. Howie, thanks so much. Have a good rest of your time here in Phoenix. You too, Dave. All right, thank you all for joining. Howie Roseman, Dave Spadaro, from the NFL's annual meeting in Phoenix, Arizona.